Mwere neza, mwara mwere neza mwese. Bayo bozi, mwere hano. Bi nze gozi jiwa kuchatu. Banyar guanda mwese, wa tumiru wa wa kurie, wa hagara ribi hugu bia nyo hano mwere guanda. Nimeriangu mhuza mahanga. Undu mwanya mhuyu. Vira gorana. Eka wenda. Niba. Wada kuri chinyaru wanda. Watumbi chinyaru wanda wafite. Wawa semurira. Changwa. Uyo usamura. First of all, on a day like this one, the hour, the day, the week, the year. Now we are in the 28th year, remembering. It's a moment People are speechless. Not lacking freedom to speak, as some people would want. To refer to us. As a country that uh, we have no freedom to speak. That's rubbish. Just doesn't make sense. But the reason is also clear why people just imagine the testimony we have just heard. And um, people being hunted down day and night for who they were, for who some of them are still today. Also imagine if those of us who were carrying arms If we had allowed ourselves to pursue those who were killing our people, indiscriminately, and also killed them. First of all, we would be right to do so. But we didn't. We spared them. Some of them are still living today in their homes, in their villages. Others are in the government, they are doing business. Some of those who are responsible, or who benefited. We didn't do that.
And yet, people will have guts to say what they say about us or do against us, what they still do up to now. But let me tell you, we are a small country. But we are big on justice. And some of those are big and powerful countries, but they are very small on justice. They have no lessons to teach anyone because they are part of this history that is so over a million of our people perish. They are the cause. And the Rwandans just executed, killed their fellow Rwandans. But the history of that originated where we all know, originated from that. So the very reasons that what we suffered, what we endured here, originated from there is the reason they cannot give us peace. They want to cover up their responsibility. They want to cover up their silence when the millions of people here in Rwanda needed them to speak out, to speak up, to come to their help. So in the end, the story becomes that of, you know, these Rwandans, these Africans, are just killing each other. They are killing themselves. So there is no one who is right, there is no one who is wrong. We are all the same, according to them. We are not the same. That's why we did not kill another one million on top of the one we lost on the hands of these criminals, some of whom are even protected, even now, by the very countries that talk about justice, that give lessons about justice. Forget about justice. Let's talk about other things. They talk about democracy. They talk about all kinds of things. As far as I know, there are three systems that govern the world. One is the so-called democracy. The other is what they call autocracy. The third in between that is silent, that is powerful, is that of hypocrisy. Three systems. 
democracy, autocracy, in between the most powerful, very silent, effective, and that is hypocrisy. But for us, we've learned our lessons. We will carry the names anyone's, anyone is going to give us. I have no problem with that. But the lesson we have learned and the lesson of things we knew anyway from the beginning, some of us, is that it doesn't matter how far you go from here, thousands, tens of thousands of kilometers, you are not going to find the people that are more important or have more important lives than us, than we are. No, there are no more important people anywhere than we are. There are no such a more important lives than ours. Much as our lives were destroyed, were wasted, as this testimony given by the young man there, tells us. I will say all these things just even for the benefit of our young people that um, yeah, those who were born at the time are now 28. That growing must have taught them the lessons of our history the history of this land. The land in which you find the very brave men and women. The heroes, if you will. But I have a problem with the, the word hero and its definition. Because there is no hero in our situation like this one. And because when you are talking of heroes, you are talking of a situation that was so bad that it had to have heroes for doing what they did, the right things, the good things. to save themselves and to save others from what was wrong that was going on. But then I ask myself, maybe the best thing is not to have heroes. It is not to have that situation that produces heroes.
like in our situation, how does one become a hero? And you know, you've lost one million people over. More people were killed than could have been saved or that needed to be saved. So that means being a hero, I wish we could not have it. I wish we did not have that situation that has to produce heroes. We would be better off. And another thing I have that is problematic with that uh, word is that you can also manufacture heroes. You can decide to baptize somebody a hero, especially when you are powerful. You can create it, and if anybody raises uh, any argument, they are made to shut down, to shut up. That's what I meant when I said the powerful are powerful, they are big, but small on justice. They even talk about freedoms. And yet, as we know, they create false stories about a people, about Rwanda, about genocide. And when you argue with the facts and you want to present facts, that actually they also know There is that power to tell everyone not to give you space to express your opinion, to answer back, to argue. And yet they are the same people who will start accusing of others, accusing others of lack of freedom to express themselves. What I'm talking about is not an old story in terms of when it last happened. No, it happens even today. You find uh, a renowned uh, newspaper, in uh, some powerful place, falsifying stories about us, about Rwandans, about the genocide, about our history. And when somebody wants to say, look, that's not correct. This is what it is. These are facts. You know, you find it's like they have agreed among themselves, all channels through which you could have communicated or placed a reply, not to listen to you because they want to have what they are playing, the only thing playing in everybody's ears. But make no mistake, in this land, this land of ours, 
small as it is. It has no small people. Like we did in the past, guided by the truth, by what is right, and it did not use the means we had, the possibility we had to kill those who killed our people. You know, you can imagine people who even doubt our justice system. And then you have Rwanda in our constitution, in our set of laws, having abolished death sentence, death penalty. Some of these uh, powerful countries still hang people or electrocute them. They do that. In fact, <laughs> For us to have even thought about abolishing the death penalty at a time we had so many people to justifiably hang. And, and, and these people miss that point. They miss the point that we are actually a country of justice, a country of laws. We believe in the rule of law. Because if we didn't, why, why do, do we do all these things? There is no amount of pressure. Let no one tell you lies. This we did ourselves. It's not because anybody influenced us or put pressure on us. And because who would put pressure on us when they are the ones doing the same thing? In any case, and then we have even people we have forgiven who were associated with this. The heart happened that we we heard from in the testimony. People who were part of that, continuing to be part of that even now. and forget that we have actually forgiven them. So they are forgiven. They had been tried by the courts, found guilty. So many years, in the middle of uh, serving their sentence, we forgive them. Next, these are the people supposed to bring, to bring to Rwanda democracy. It's a joke. And you are doing it in a wrong place, in a place that understands many things about us, our limitations, but our power to defend and protect this land and the people of this land. Those people who go around talking nonsense every day, they should take a moment and remember a situation like this we are talking about today, that in actual fact also remember that it has produced different people in this land. Our children, our grandchildren, we have a duty to make sure they understand this and they are there for this land, for the people of this land.
Well, but we also know many things, including our limitations. We have no power to stop it or to prevent it. but to have the power to confront it. It happens every day. But this gives uh, us, some of us, a good uh, opportunity to remind people of all this. I cannot end without uh, thanking leaders of our country, the citizens of our country, the young people who still find it in themselves to be normal human beings, even uh, what even what has happened to them. Like, uh, I'm really surprised that uh, we have so many of these who still find in themselves the energy to live the way lives should be lived as normal human beings. Um, but the most important thing is these very hard, bad lessons should never be wasted. In the last 28 years, every year that passes makes us stronger, and better people. And for being who we want to be, we shall be the ones to decide, not anybody deciding for us what and how to be. For those who keep uh, running their false stories and uh, yeah, imagine people could not even, uh, no, no, well, but I think to be fair, the majority of the people in this world recognize what happened here and uh, give it uh, the name it should be called. Again, but there are others who say, no, but you see, <laughs> no, it's only not Tutsis who died, it's also others. <laughs> I mean, first of all, you, you, you are just saying the obvious. <laughs> In that situation, what, what you are saying is obvious. But we are, I think here we are talking about something else. You know, when uh, people, are, you know, everybody knows here, or those who want to know, you know, there are people who are called cockroaches here. Cockroaches, the name cockroach was uh, reserved for a specific group of people. No. So, uh, and when they were killing, they were killing cockroaches. This is what they were saying. So they were saying it publicly. So to say that it was a genocide targeting Tutsis, how can it be wrong? How can it be questioned? How can it be argued about? Unless you have uh, something else, another problem. A and this is now what gives room to all of these other genocidaires to, 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 to to start talking about championing democracy, their new found breed of 
people who are democratic, who, who want to bring to Rwanda democracy, Rwanda that lacks uh, democracy and lacks freedom of speech and lacks everything uh, no more and uh, human. Well, but what do you do? If, if somebody is insulting you, you, you take it. It's better not to insult back. You just absorb it and do whatever you want to do for yourself, for you. So the lesson is learned for the young people, for our country in this land is to say, let's just do for ourselves what we need to do to be what we want to be. And um, the rest is a, it's a struggle, it's a fight. Let's, we shall give it a good fight. Thank you very much.